regular season champion banner is up. And for the Panthers, winning a championship is all that matters. And tonight, this season begins. The regular season begins tonight here at the Peterson Event Center. The Pitt Panthers get set to take on the Great Danes of Albany. Along with Curtis Aiken, I'm Greg Linelli. Curtis, another year of expectations for this Pitt team. And one of the reasons why those expectations are so great, Ashton Gibbs is leading the way. No question. Mr. Consistent. He's the kind of guy that makes the coaches sleep well at night. The thing that I like about the guy is he's starting to add other dimensions to his game. Getting, putting the ball on the deck, getting into the lane and creating opportunities for other guys makes for an exciting year for Ashton Gibbs. He's shooting close to 50% in his career from the three-point range. We talked about the expectations. The Panthers come in preseason rank number 10, number 11, depending upon which poll you look at. And again, for Jamie Dixon, it's just a matter of being consistent and getting to the top. Well, one of the things I'm sure he's excited about is the fact that he has the perfect blend of experience as well as youth. And those, those guys that are young are very athletic, very smart, have very IQ for the game of basketball. Also makes for exciting year to have those guys on your team as well. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the opening tip. You're watching Panthers Television right here on the Comcast Network. Are your testosterone levels low? University studies show watching sports on TV can boost this important male hormone. Only SNY offers the most in-depth, objective coverage of all New York sports teams. Not just Knicks and Rangers, not just Yankees and Nets, but all nine New York teams and the Big East Conference. More sports, more testosterone. SNY, up your dose of New York sports. Get your New York sports here. Why do we have Aflac? Aflac? And Major Medical. Major Medical boy, yeah! I helped pay the doctor. Ain't that enough for you? There are things Major Medical doesn't do. Aflac! Pays cash so we don't have to fret. Something families should get. Like a safety net. It even helps pay deductibles to cover your back with. Help protect your family at Aflac.com. <laughs> <laughs> Event center, Curtis Aiken, along with Greg Linelli. Let's give you the starting lineups for both teams. Let's first start with Albany. Will Brown, he's the head coach. He's entering his 11th season for Albany. Of course, the Pitt Panthers, led by Jamie Dixon. He's in his ninth season at Pitt as the head coach, 13th season overall. Let's get to our starting lineups for tonight's game, the first regular season game for both teams. Patterson, Robinson, Taylor, Gibbs, Woodall, Devlin, Puck, Aaron Holt is their big scorer, Black, and Suero. And Curtis, I think when we take a look at the Panthers lineup, an interesting move, J.J. Moore won't be in the lineup. He suspended one game. Lamar Patterson fills in and did a nice job in the exhibition season. Did a really nice job in the exhibition season. I mean, he's improved in a lot of different areas as well, but that, that question has really not been answered yet in terms yeah. of who's going to be the long-term starter in that position. J.J. Moore came off a pretty good game, the first game, exhibition game against LaRoche as well. So they're one and one right now. Yep, they are one and one, and... Looking to figure some things out, as you mentioned, Curtis. Robinson coming back from an injury, too. We saw him in that last exhibition game. He looked good, but I think he would say, look, I'm still not in game shape yet. Yeah, he took a nice little blow to the, uh, to the mouth of yeah. the nose that game as well. Didn't play as much as he expected to, but I was very surprised at how well he played when he was on the floor. So the regular season begins tonight for the Panthers. A lot of expectations, and we're glad you're with us here on Panthers Television on the Comcast Network. Patterson... Controls it to Woodall. We'll see what the Great Danes come out. Obviously, the size advantage you would think favors the Panthers. Looks like a little zone here. Well, they fell back in a 1-2-2 zone. That means Ashton Gibbs might be open. Uh, might be a matchup zone as well. 13 to go on the shot clock. Woodall, veteran, point guard. Robinson low blocks. He wants to make a move. Goes in, hook shot, no good, and Taylor! with the one-handed jam to get things going. Excellent job of following it up. That's the one thing that they like to see more of him, getting to the rim and following up missed shots, as you saw there. Oh, Aaron Hall picked up his dribble, and we talk so much about the Panthers' defense. That's probably first on Jamie Dixon's list in terms of his wish list. Play good defense, and you're going to play. Well, I'll tell you what. 
that first possession in terms of the defensive side was much better than they played that the last five minutes of the last exhibition game we saw. So Jamie Dixon obviously put a lot of emphasis on defense. Good to see Dante Taylor get on board early. Woodall, long three-point shot, no good. Pulled down by Aaron Hulk. And the Great Danes want to push. Black's a returning starter. They're going to look to him to score. Devlin, freshman rookie of the year for the Great America Conference. Black, nowhere to go. And he was out of control, and not a surprise, Nasir Robinson getting it done defensively. That's right, another good defensive possession for the Pitt Panthers. Very active on the perimeter, had their hands up. Good defense overall. Little half-court press. They extended the 1-2-2. Two, two. It's a 1-2-2 two, two extended zone falling back into a 1-2-2 two, two, uh, zone at the uh, other end of the court, as you see here. And you've got to figure, Curtis, they have to do some things defensively to mix things up with this Panthers offense. The size advantage in favor of the Panthers. And the Great Danes have to be alert of where Gibbs is. He's going to let it go from the left side, and it's pulled down. Not a bad strategy to to play a zone, but you obviously have to be aware of where Gibbs is, make other guys beat you from the perimeter. They wanted to go low blocks. Ball was deflected into the hands. That's Suero. And we have a foul, looks like, on Robinson. So early on, the Great Danes struggling to make some things happen. Panthers defensively so far pretty good. Jamie Dixon likes what he sees there. Yeah, they're doing a good job early to force them out of their rhythm. Yeah. They have not, the Great Danes have not been able to get into any kind of flow early on. I'm going to call a shooting foul. Well, the zoo obviously doesn't agree with that, but uh, I thought he was in the act of shooting. was obviously bailed out because he was really off balance. Didn't have a good chance of making that shot. 2-0 early, and I think one of the things for Jamie Dixon this year, especially early on, Curtis, finding another score to complement Ashton Gibbs. We saw Dante Taylor with the dunk early. Who else will step up? Well, if, if you ask the team that, I bet the first guy to raise their hand when that question is asked is Patterson. I mean, he really can put the ball in the basket. And is very confident about his ability to do that. Patterson with the ball to Woodall. Great Danes, pressure. And they settle back into their defense. Jimmy Dixon likes a lot of ball movement. Everybody touching the ball, getting involved, making good cuts. Robinson penetrates with her slayup, and it's good. So that knee looked pretty good on that play, Curtis. Well, you talk about you know his ability to do other things. That was a nice move, put it on the floor, and reverse to the other side. That's the other, uh, other part of his game that he's really improved in, and that's getting to the rack. Good hedge by the Panthers that time. And they want to try and go low blocks off the hands of John Tuck. I, I want to give the Panthers credit for playing good defense, but I think yeah. nerves have a little bit to do with it as well. You got to play a perfect game on the road here if you're Albany. 4-1. Panthers are up. Patterson tried to bullet pass underneath to Robinson, and the Great Danes want to push it. Knifing through the lane, layup shot, and it rattles home, and that's Suero. So the Great Danes get their first field goal, and it's a 4-3 Panthers advantage. Time bad offense led to that good opportunity for the Great Danes. Look for the Panthers against his 1-2-2 zone to try to get the ball in the middle, turn and face the basket and create opportunities. See what happens is penetrating. That's what all good pass underneath to Dante Taylor, who lost it. Got it back and kicks it back out to Patterson. Seven to go on the shot clock. Patterson jump shot. Oh, good pass underneath to Robinson. Robinson's got four, and Patterson with the feed. It was a nice cut by Robinson. Good heads up play by Patterson to get it to him. It's good vision. That's one of the things they like about Patterson, his ability to see the floor. Aaron Holt trying to get free. They don't go to him. Now Devlin back out to Suero. What's he going to do? 15 to go on the shot clock. Wide open three-point shot. That's Devlin. It's off the mark. It's tipped into the hands of Patterson. Panthers have some numbers if they want to run. Woodall. Gibbs has it left side. Hesitation. Good pass underneath. And we're going to have a floor foul. So early on, 6-3. And that's the score when we come back. You're watching Panthers Television right here on the Comcast Network.
Attention, shoppers. Your groceries are the size of Idaho, but the interest rate on your checking is small potatoes. Earn more at Capital One Bank. Get new high-yield free checking. Your interest rate will be five times the national average. That's huge. And free ATMs at any bank. Free is good. Sign up at Capital One Bank. Mm -hmm. What's in your wallet? What is it, Clydesdale? Hurry into the BMW Mission to Drive sales event before this offer self-destructs. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Gate 40, ma'am. Straight over that way. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like the window? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a great trip home. Oh, thank you very much, ma'am. Just like some help. Yes, sir. Let me get that. Have a nice night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. No. Oh. Thank you. It's the Jets on SNY. Get exclusive post-game access to all the player and coach reactions on Jets post-game live with on-field interviews, locker room coverage, and all of Rex Ryan's post-game comments. Plus, Joe Klecko, Ray Lucas, Adam Shine, and host Brian Custer cover every angle with in-depth game analysis and opinion on Jets post-game live, presented by Toyota, Sunday immediately after the game, only on SNY. Get your New York sports here. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. Curtis Aiken, Greg Lanelli with you. And the Panthers up 6-3. But boy, we talked about him at the beginning a little bit. Nasir Robinson, fantastic so far early on. Really giving some energy and getting to the lane. And that's what we're seeing here. Excellent job. The Panther Nation was very concerned about him when he went down with his in in injury. But I tell you what, he's back. Two for three, four points. And Every team needs a blue guy, right, Curtis? You've been on some great teams. Obviously, when you played, every team needs somebody that's going to take the charge, that's well, going to block. Well, back in the was day, that you? In the back, no, it wasn't <laughs> me. But back in the day, we called him the garbage man. Guys right. that do, didn't mind getting their hands dirty, with a great knack for the basketball, always getting to the rim, yep. sharing the basketball, great basketball player. Patterson's going to launch a three-point shot from the corner, and it's down his shooting continues to be impressive early on, Curtis. Very nice, balanced jump shot under control. A wide open shot by Black. He's gonna try and answer, and Patterson says, I'll shoot and I'll rebound. Here comes Gibbs looking to push. Oh, good pass underneath. Dante Taylor, hook shot in the lane. That's the part of the game you wanna see Dante Taylor continue to evolve. Absolutely, and it all started with Patterson. Nice rebound, yes. pushed the ball up the court, and saw inside uh, Taylor for a nice over the shoulder hook shot. Guerrero's gonna pull back, that's a tough shot. Bank no good, battling for it underneath. Great Danes come away with it. Aaron Holt trying to do something, being double teamed, oh he has a turnover. Good defense leading to some offense. Robinson had numbers briefly. Good decision. Takes it back out to Gibbs and, yeah you're right. That's not a bad decision when you have Mr. Automatic coming down in Ashton Gibbs. 13-3, the Panthers up and Curtis, I think this is the type of offense Jamie Dixon maybe expects of his Panthers team. In rhythm, everybody's touching the ball, and they're playing good defense as well. Yeah, if you take a look at who they have on the floor, they have very experienced guys on the floor that are used to playing with one another and you know, doing an excellent job, as you mentioned, moving the basketball and sharing it, getting it to the right guys in the right spot. And you see Patterson knock down a wide open jump shot. And it starts to in transition, and this is the game we talked about with Dante Taylor. He can use his left. We know that. Jamie Dixon talked about that, but using his right as well, boy, that would be huge if he develops into the guy I think a lot of people think he can be. Well, he's starting to show signs of, you know, being more aggressive. I think he's doing a much better job of working, getting to spots. He just seems more hungry this year. And it was a great pass by Ashton Gibbs. Again, he wants to be a more complete basketball player this year. That time we see with the penetration and the dish. So the Panthers in control early on, as you would expect. A 10-point lead. The Great Danes looking to you know, settle down a little bit on the road as the Zoo, they're vocal. 
That time a bad pass underneath that was deflected and Suero pulls it in. He's gonna try and challenge the Panthers and Suero says, if nobody's gonna shoot, I will. <laughs> I believe he's got he the first five points. All five points. Yeah. He's been Mr. Offense. Couple substitutions coming both ways for both teams. Woodall has it left side. He's gonna look to penetrate that zone. Good pass to Patterson. He thought about it, didn't, and got it to Gibbs. Pump fake, penetrating, pull back. Boy, is that nice. Is that a nice rotation as the whistle blows. But again, you see, I don't think he could do that his freshman or sophomore year as Curtis, but he's worked on his game and we saw it right there. Well, that's where his game really has evolved. Really passed up a jump shot with the head fake to get a better shot. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think that he would be looking to put the ball up on the floor and get in the lane a year ago, as you just mentioned, as he just did there. Nice shot, nice move, uh, nice move play to get around the, the defender as well. No doubt about it. And, you know, Ashton Gibbs, he figures, listen, if I want to make it at the next level, I've got to be able to put the ball on the floor at least a little bit. We know he has a great stroke, and that time, the 15-footer, it's exactly, and a little push-off too, which, hey, sometimes they call, <laughs> sometimes they don't. So Panthers in control, Black, Top of the key, Zana and Wright in for the Panthers. Aaron Holt, he's gonna pull up. It's a long three-point shot. Good contest by the Panthers. They're gonna look to push. Well, if they're gonna get any point production out of anybody, it's gonna have to be Aaron Holt. He's the leading scorer, averaging 14 points a game. Has not been able to get into any kind of rhythm early in the game. And Gibbs says, long three ball, no good. All Robinson tried to put it back up. Thought he got hit, goes out of bounds. It will stay Panthers ball with 13.31 to go in the game. In the first half, I should say. Woodall, inbound. Just surprised early on how many number of open shots that Aston Gibbs is getting. With a foul on the floor as Robinson caught it, wanted to spin, and he was fouled. Black called for the foul. So again, Woodall will do the honors underneath the hoop. Robinson just trying to muscle his way in, so physical. As Curtis mentioned, everybody needs a garbage guy. What a pass Gibbs to Zana. We're seeing everything from Ashton Gibbs here tonight, aren't we, Curtis? Well, he draws so much attention. If you just move without the basketball, things like that will happen. Good heads up play by Ashton Gibbs. Just a no-look pass. Good defense by the Panthers, launching a three-point shot. And it was down, and that's Jason Garia. Well, that's a tough shot by Garia, but I tell you, the Panthers are doing a good job of forcing them out on the perimeter to take those tough shots. Again, some token pressure by the Great Danes. Gibbs creating some contact. And Panthers with Cam right now at the point. It's really a three-guard set out there for the Panthers. That's where they can be very dangerous. Gibbs with 12 to go on the shot clock. Gets it to what all the Panthers are going to run. Not playing. Woodall's going to pull back for a three-point shot. So Trey Woodall, known more for his distribution, that time hits a big three-pointer. Well, if he continues to shoot the ball as he has been over the last couple of games, this Panthers team's going to be very tough going into regular yep. season. Zana gets called for the foul on the hedge. And you know, Woodall, you take a look at his assist to turnover ratio over his career, it's, it's fantastic. But as you mentioned, Curtis, they're going to have to find ways to score. And if that means your point guard chipping in here and there, like on this play, I think if you're Jamie Dixon, you're satisfied with that. Speaking of point guards, uh, Johnson Aston, into the game. Yeah, Aston Gibbs is checked out, and John Johnson checks in. I like him as well. Very tough defensively. He didn't see a lot of playing time in the last exhibition game, but a lot of times Coach Dixon goes by what these guys do in practice, Curtis. And just watch how active he is defensively. Yeah. Right. Almost a steal by Woodall. And right now, the Great Danes just struggling to make something happen. Here he is. There's Johnson, your guy, comes up with the steal. It's a pick from Zana, bounce pass over to Woodall. Panthers lead 20 to eight. Johnson's going to reset. A lot of Cam Wright. A lot of youth out there as Cam Birch is in the game as well for the Panthers. And one of my favorite players on the Panther team. 
It's 10 seconds on the shot clock. We'll see what happens. Little two-man game. Johnson, he's going to pull up a long three-point shot, and he rattles home. And boy, Johnson, you see the confidence. He gets one going. It's going to be a huge boost, Curtis. It really is. And watch how he sits down on defense. Very disciplined. All right now, the Great Dane's in trouble a little bit. Aaron Hall is going to try a three-point shot, and he gets it to go, and hey, that's what he can do. Well, Jamie Dixon wasn't happy that, that he was so open, but that's still a tough shot. Knocked it down. Sometimes you got to give credit to the offense, right? When the guy makes a shot like that, give him credit. Birch, considerable size advantage underneath. Let's see if they go to him. Well, Woodall thought about shooting the three-ball shot. Three we'll take a break. It's been all shooting by those Pitt Panthers. We'll take a break. The Panthers up 23-11 by the sharpshooting of the Panthers. Back after this, Panthers Television and the Comcast Network. Aaron, you're all set. Great, thanks. Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies to make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The discount double check move? It's my touchdown dance. So you're a dancer? No, I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. Whoa. I'm a robot. <laughs> mm -mm. <Wait> for <laughs> Get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his. How about you? Rodgers! This got double check! Get to a better state. State Farm. day of your life I'll be right back we call Tuesday Caesars Atlantic City routinely spectacular you downloading a movie to watch on the train huh yep I do it all the time this station is an optimum Wi-Fi hotspot oh I'm over my 3g data plan limit for the month so I can't afford to download anything too bad optimum Wi-Fi is free way faster than 3G. Forget phone company data plans. Optimum Wi-Fi is free for Optimum Online customers and up to five times faster than 3G. It even blows away 4G. Get out and get on the internet with Optimum Wi-Fi. Hi, I'm Tony Ticante, general manager here at Lexus of Massapequa, Long Island's number one volume Lexus dealer. We surveyed our customers over the last six months to find out why they bought from us. And on the board are the top three reasons. The number three reason why people bought from Lexus of Massapequa. Best customer service. The number two reason the survey says. Best value in service. And the top reason people bought from Lexus of Massapequa. The survey says. Best experience. Finally, what are you demanding from your luxury car dealer? Well, there you have it. Lexus of Massapequa, where excellence is predictable. Um, 3 to 11, the Panthers in control early here at the Peterson Event Center. Hey, Pitt fans, join Coach Graham and the Panthers as they host Syracuse on Saturday, December 3rd at Heinz Field. Kickoff is set for noon and tickets are still available. Call 1-800-745-3000 or log on to pittsburghpanthers.com slash tickets for more info. Curtis, the Panthers are shooting 67%. They're getting good looks and eight assists on 10 field goals. That tells you they're being unselfish and getting open looks. Well, right now, very solid on both ends of the floor. I like, love their intensity defensively, which is yeah. also creating opportunities for them on the offensive end. Turnovers. Albany has five in this game. And right now, they're just trying to get some offense, figuring some things out. Metcalf into the game. Aaron Holt has to get hot. Long three-point shot again, battling for it underneath. That was Metcalf. And they're going to call the Panthers on the foul. So we got Zana, Wright, Birch, Woodall, and Johnson. Metcalf was pretty uh, crafty on that play here. I thought he held Zana down as he went up to get the basketball. And they called Zana for the foul. Metcalf, the junior, at 6'9", 240. Dante Taylor back into the game. Lamar Patterson as well. Wright and Zana depart. So Patterson's giving them solid minutes. He's back in the game along with Dante Taylor. When you talk about Patterson, I had an opportunity to talk to Coach Brandon Knight before the game, and he says that Patterson is just killing, killing everyone in practice. So you see him with a nice rebound there. He's rebounding, he's distributing the basketball, and he's looking for a shot. Woodall pushes it. Bank, blast, good. Trey Woodall's got five, and 
he starts doing that, this backcourt's pretty dangerous. Excellent decision to get him to the lane. A good pull up. Aaron Holt stripped by Patterson. Panthers have numbers. Johnson, layup, it's good. And the Great Danes say, we need to talk this over. And you talked about Johnson earlier. And he's a guy that can make things happen defensively. And sometimes, Curtis, great defense leads to offense. And I think it's exactly what we saw right here. No, no question. And with Robertson and Johnson on the floor together, they bring a lot of energy. And that really picks up the other guys. Yeah. He enjoys playing defense. Six foot one, freshman guard. A lot of ability, and as you mentioned, defensively, that's what's going to get some of these younger guys on the court sooner rather than later. How well you defend, especially, Curtis, as you know, in the Big East, no game is easy. Not at all. I mean, they, the Panthers obviously lost some, some very good players and Wanamaker yeah. and those kids, but the youth that these guys have on this team now with Kim Birch and, these, and Johnson, as you just saw there, and Cameron coming off the bench, they make for a very exciting team, a team that's going to be uh, much more aggressive and look to run a lot more as well. Suero knifing through the lane. Shot score, but they're going to say stepping into that charge was Dante Taylor. You like to see a big guy step in there and take a charge. Sliding in, and that's what Jamie Dixon wants. And Suero says, I'm not used to a seven-footer, six-nine guy <laughs> stepping into the lane and did a nice job. And Panthers got the call. Up 27 to 11. For the great days to switch and now playing man to man defense. Gibbs baseline, pump fake. Now Johnson thought about the shot. 15 to go on the shot clock. Actually, it's more like a matchup. Yep. Zone matchup. Gibbs with the ball is going to get a pick from Taylor. He's going to launch a three ball. That was look good. Dante Taylor with the rebound. A little right-handed hook shot long. They make a miss. Great effort yeah. by Dante Taylor. That's what you like to see. Here comes Suero knifing through the lane. It goes into the hands of Taylor, but they called a blocking foul, it looked like. It may have gotten him, but I thought the call was a little late. You give credit to Suero. I mean, he's looking at this, Curtis. I, I got to be the offensive guy, but yeah. I guess there was some contact there before the shot was lifted up, and he's going to go to the free throw line. Suero, six foot four junior, averaged 22 points at the Juco level, and I think we're seeing him a little bit here. The Great Danes, it's pretty much Suero and yeah. well, a couple other guys chipping in. He's doing an excellent job of getting to the cup. The Panthers have to, have to do a better job of stopping that penetration because he's looking to get to the rack. Second free throw attempt is good. And again, some pressure. Suero's got seven. In the full court, one, two, two zone trap. It's nice having a six foot five guard, too, that can kind of see over that trap in Patterson. It's Johnson into the ball game again, still for the Panthers, giving some solid minutes. Patterson in the corner, needs some help. Good ball reversal. See what the Panthers do. Gibbs, good in and out move. Throws That'll up a shot, no good, but. Again, getting to the free throw line. We talked about it in the pregame, Curtis. It's something that he wants to do more of this season. And I think right there was a great illustration. Well, if he wanted to get to the free throw line, he has to do what he did. And yeah. that is try to create off the bounce, get guys in the air, and create that contact. Nice hesitation there. Creating the contact, as you mentioned. And then why not get to the free throw line? This guy, close to a 90% free throw shooter in his career. So it's pretty much two in the bank. I hope I don't jinx him for his sake, but 28-13, Panthers in control. Gibbs right now with five points. You take a look at the scoring of the Panthers. Nice distribution all the way around. Everybody is involved. Well, that's the one thing that I appreciate the most about asking Gibbs. At the end of the night, he's going to be the leading scorer on this yeah. team, you know, game in and game out. But he's starting to let the game come to him. He's not going out looking to score bunches of points early on. He's getting everyone involved. And I'm sure, Curtis, that comes with experience as well. You know, a, an older guy understands that the game of basketball, things are going to come. As we see a three-point shot off the mark, and it's pulled down by Gibbs, showing us everything a little bit. He's pushing with his left. Bullet pass over to Patterson. Wide open look, and it's down. Jamie Dixon applies that 32-13, and... 
How about Ashton Gibbs? The rebound and then the assist. Nice assist, and uh, Patterson is doing exactly what coaches see him do every day in practice. Suero is looking to penetrate, pulls back, 15th footer. It's going to be short. Good box out by Patterson into the hands of Gibbs. If he's really want to put it on the Great Danes here, spin in the lane, shot on the way, gets the roll. Ashton Gibbs showing us everything in his arsenal right now. It's fun to watch. It's easy for him. So the Great Danes, they need to stop the bleeding in a hurry. 34-13. I like this matchup here. Watts has it. Now a nice 15-footer by the Great Danes. That was Puck, and he was short. Right has it right side. Let's go, Panthers! 25 to go on the shot clock. 7-10 in the first half, and the Panthers have been in control since the start of this contest. Boy, when the lights have come on, this season opener for the Panthers, they have responded. Look at Gibbs, hesitation. Feels like he can do anything he wants. Crossover, and might have been a little too much there, although we had a kick. Ashton Gibbs putting on a show. We'll take a break. Back after this, right here on the Comcast Network. Jeff delivers for early birds. I'm Karen Tomlin, and this is my baby. The baby who came into the world and became the center of my universe. The baby who feeds at my breast and tugs at my heart. The baby I was told I could never have. But surgeons at North Shore LIJ were able to perform corrective surgery. And now, it's the baby I could never conceive of living without. I got new carpet for this entire room, but I only had to pay for this much of it. Empire's 60% off sale is on again. Shop at home and save 60% on quality name brand carpet with no interest for one year. Plus, we'll install it all by the holidays, guaranteed, or it's free. You can get a lot more carpet for a whole lot less. 60% off is huge. Call today. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. Sometimes your hands could use a hand. Delta Touch 2O technology is now in the bathroom. Another way Delta is more than just a faucet. See what Delta can do. Big East Basketball on SNY. The Golden Eagles return to action as they tip off their regular season against the Mountaineers in Milwaukee. Mount St. Mary's and Marquette coming up next on SNY. Tonight at Geico Sports Night, the Jets are ready, and it's looking like the Sanchez will have a key weapon at his disposal, and the Hurricanes blow into MSG and face the Red Hot Rangers looking for their sixth straight win. Catch all the details tonight on Geico Sports Night. Where the action is pretty hot right now, and the Panthers using that scoring, the three-point shooting, and the great passing, Curtis. It's been fun to watch right now. Yeah, they have several weapons, and as you see, they don't mind sharing the, the basketball the, it, it all starts with the perimeter. I mean, it, they're doing a good job of swinging the basketball yeah. at the right time. Guys are cutting in the lanes and finishing, as you saw there. Right now, they have 17 points in the paint, and it's not because they're just standing in the, in the, in the paint and posting up. Right. They're actually moving and cutting and finishing in the paint, which is an excellent job by the Panthers so far. Panthers shooting almost 67% in this game. Patterson, two for two, shooting the three ball. And what you like about that, too, the rotation and the elevation is what's impressive there and obviously getting the open look. Panthers ball, Gibbs, who's just been fantastic. That's almost like a layup for him. Misses it, here comes Suero looking to push. Wants to challenge right, that was a bad idea. And it's out of bounds. It will be the Great Dane's ball, but Cam Wright did a nice job staying in front of the defender, the offensive player, Curtis. Well, Cameron Wright's a guy that gives you some size. I mean, look for him to match up against the bigger guards, uh, particularly when lead play starts. Aaron Holt's going to try a 10-footer. 
That was a tough shot. He gets it to go. He's got five points. Cuts the lead to 34-15. That last bucket was Albany's first point since 11, 11, 12 ago. It's been a while. It has been. It's been a while, no doubt about that. Gibbs pulls up 15-footer, fading away a little bit, and that's down. Oh, Gibbs now, he's in double figures with 10. Suero forcing the issue, and he's fouled by right. He tacks the back. You know, it's it's fun watching Ashton because you think, most people think three-point shooter, three-point shooter, but we've seen so far tonight in the exhibition season, he's really making the effort to put the ball on the floor, Curtis, and pull up for that 15 mid-range jump shot. No question, but keep in mind, here's a kid that was considering going, putting his name in for the NBA yeah. draft. Uh, he did an excellent job of really trying to understand what he needed to do to improve. Spent a lot of time talking to Jamie Dixon. Went and visited a number of NBA teams, and they talked about what he needed to do to improve. This kid is hungry. I talk about his discipline, his ability to, to practice and yeah. stay focused. You know, he, he eats right. He, he has a great, great knack for the game of basketball, but he has a great head in terms of IQ for the game. Right there, looked like maybe goaltending, but it was blocked. And the Great Danes looking to push, trailing 36 to 15. Oakland Zoo vocal right now. Look at that defense, Robinson trying to make things happen. Now Woodall's gonna get on the floor and we have a jump ball situation. <laughs> Good job. And both players give a little, little nod as to say, hey, we're, we're both hustling, it's okay. So it's a nice lineup out there for the Panthers. You have Gibbs, you have Robinson, Dante Taylor, Woodall. Haven't seen Gilbert tonight, but Coach Dixon's looking for that right combination right now. Black has it top of the key. He enters the ball game. Now 15-footer is going to be short by Garia. Here comes the Panthers looking to push. Top of the key to Woodall. He's hit a three tonight. Wright's giving them solid minutes off the bench. Here we go, Panthers. Here we go. Of course, Robinson. Go, right there, layup, shot, score. And again, Woodall finding the seams of the defense. Well, that's why his the turnover assist ratio is off the chart. Most people think because you got a guy like Aston Gibbs there that's knocking down shots, that's creating uh, assist for you, but he sees everyone on the floor. Here's Robinson back to Taylor. He wants to go in, layup shot, no good, but Curtis, he was fouled. That's why he couldn't finish. <laughs> well, I just like the, the, the tempo in which they're playing with, and again, it all starting on the defensive yeah. end. Everybody touching the ball for Jamie Dixon, and. I think he appreciates not only offensively what they're doing, but defensively limiting Albany to only 15 points in four minutes and 53 seconds left in this first half. Well, Ashton already has 10 points, four assists, and 0 for 3 for the, for the three. That's not going to continue, trust no, me. That won't continue. But again, you know, you talked about Ashton a, a little bit ago, talking about eating right and, and really trying to get to the next level. And I think, too, a, a sense of urgency being a senior. Right? I yes. mean, I think you have to understand that I want to have the best season as possible, not only as an individual, but as a team. Well, keep in mind, these young kids on a team sees that as well, and they try to duplicate it. Yep. Break down on defense there. Nice layup by Black that time. Turned the corner. Nobody was there to pick up, and it's 39-17. Panthers still in control. Look at the ball movement. The double screen down low for Ashton coming off the... Baseline. Here comes Woodall. He wants the challenge. Good pass underneath to Robinson. Just went off his hands. Wasn't expecting it. And Black's going to look to push. Need some help. Now Aaron Holt tried to go through his legs. Was deflected by Gibbs. Who's also improved his defense. Since he's been a pit. Good hedge by Robinson. Suero nowhere to go. Throws up a shot. It's going to be short. <laughs> And they're going to call a foul. We'll take a break. More at the Pete right here on the Comcast Network. You want to save money on car insurance? No problem. You want to save money on RV insurance? No problem. 
You want to save money on motorcycle insurance? No problem. You want to find a place to park all these things? Forget about it. This is New York. Hey, little guy, wake up. Oh, come off it, mate. Geico. Saving people money on more than just car insurance. How are we going to make this season better than the last? How about making it brighter? More colorful? And putting all our helpers to work? So we can build on our favorite traditions by adding a few new ones. We've all got garlands and budgets to stretch, and this year we can keep them both evergreen. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Here's a bright idea. Trade in any light string and get up to five bucks off the latest Christmas LEDs. The only thing better than getting what you wished for is getting more than you wished for. Now during the Lincoln Wishlist event, get four years complimentary maintenance, plus the season's most attractive sign-and-drive offer on a Lincoln MKZ. Get more than you wished for. Brad, a New York sports junkie, just learned that watching sports on TV can increase testosterone levels. He watches SNY, the only network that's on the scene for every New York team. Other networks don't give Brad that kind of complete, in-depth coverage. With SNY, Brad gets all the New York sports he wants and all the man hormone he needs. SNY, up your dose of New York sports. Get your New York sports here! In all Panthers here tonight, 39 to 17. It's almost basketball season, so sign up for the Pitt Men's Basketball Season Ticket waiting list. Join for free and have first priority for available single game tickets. Call 1-800-643-PITT or log on to PittsburghPanthers.com slash tickets for more info. The Panthers started early and they have not let up Curtis in this game. The Great Danes Obviously, the underdogs coming into this contest, but boy, the Panthers have looked really, really sharp early on. They have. As you see, Taylor and, and Birch walk out on the floor together. That's going to be interesting to see how they play together. i like to see more of that. Yeah. Obviously, with Taylor being as active as he is, and Birch runs the floor as well as any big man that I've seen uh, the play at Pitt. If you're the Pitt Panthers, it's a situation where you take a look at Birch rebounding, using that athleticism, and get out in the open, no doubt about it. Bring up a good point there. 39-18. to go in this game. Now here comes Gibbs. Jump shot is good. And he's been on fire. He's got 12 and just continues to put on a clinic. Now left side is Suero. He's been their best player so far tonight. Knifes through the lane and gets it to go. He's been an offensive force for the Great Danes tonight. Well, he puts his head down and gets to the rack. He's in double figures with 10. He's got half their points. Gibbs throwing those elbows around. Look at that. Creating some contact that time. And they're going to call Suero for the foul. And he's frustrated. And Ashton Gibbs... I'll tell you what, that's another part of his game that's expanding, creating contact. Curtis maybe forcing contact, which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, we've seen him do that a couple <laughs> times in the uh, exhibition games, but he does a good job of yeah. leaning to the guy and create that space and step back. Can't play him that close. In your regard, too, Curtis, you know what it's like. you got to have every little edge, and Ashton Gibbs certainly doing that right now. Well, at, you know, at six foot, you have to try to get every edge you can get. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Woodall underneath. Gibbs curling. He's got 12 points. Needs some help. Now Woodall's going to put it on the floor. Picked up his dribble. Birch posting up on the right side. They don't go to him. Mm -hmm. You had him. You got to go inside yeah. to the big fella. He worked to get open. Birch in the corner. He's going to pull up for a 15-footer. Nice touch. Weak side rebound. Woodall tried to go up with it. And the ball was deflected into the hands of the Great Danes. They want to push. Here comes Black. Birch side. 
He goes in, knifing through the lane. High arcing layup over Birch. That was a pretty impressive shot right there. As you mentioned, Birch and his athleticism. Yeah, and Birch, you know, obviously didn't get there in time, but he did a great job of coming from the other side of the lane to try to get a block there. Woodall has it for the Panthers. Panthers up 41-22. We're approaching the two-minute mark of the first half. Now Woodall back to Gibbs. See what Panthers do. Ashton Gibbs going to use the pick from Taylor. Crossover dribble, penetrates in the lane. Try to get a pass to Taylor, but going to say Gibbs traveled that time. Yeah, good effort. And that time maybe he tried to do too much, but again, when you have an opportunity to go to the rim, I'm what can you do? Yeah, I'm not sure how that was a travel. The ball got stuck on the defender's back, but you're going the other way with it. Devlin, it was good defense, stood his ground. Comes Suero, and they're going to call Patterson. Very explosive off the dribble. Minute 40. 41 22. If, Patterson, if Patterson is going to be that starter in that three spot for the Pitt Panthers and not J.J. Moore, the one area he's going to have to improve in, Greg, and that's on yeah. the defensive end. Free throw attempt. Suero is good. He's got 11 points, also has two fouls. Panthers have one full timeout. Yeah. He has two fouls because he has a tough matchup tonight That's trying true. to guard Aston Gibbs. Not many people in the Big East can do that. 41-24. Uh, yeah, no doubt, Curtis, about that. And the Panthers, you take a look at their schedule coming up, and I think this is a nice way for them to kind of just get some confidence, especially with some of these younger guys. We'll look at it later, but an opportunity for some of these younger guys to get some playing time as well as Great Danes look like they're going to go either a little 2-3 or maybe a matchup zone. See how patient the Panthers are offensively. And there you go, Gibbs wide open, three-point shot. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, well, it was a 1-2-2 matchup, but they didn't <laughs> match up too well. You got to know where that guy is on the floor at all times. That's a great point. How do you leave the best shooter in the gym? Well, let, let's say the nation. Yeah, that's a good point. In the nation, how do you leave him open? Great Danes are going to try a long three off the mark as we're under a minute to play. The Panthers, 44-24. Woodall, Patterson, three ball. And Birch went flying for it. It went off his hand, and it will be Great Danes' ball. But boy, this is fun watching the Panthers. The open shot is there when they want it. It is, and uh, Patterson just has such a smooth touch. Yeah. I mean, even when he misses, it looks like he's going to go in. He's very balanced, nice lift on the shot. Very good basketball yeah. shooter. Now Suero, Drablet, battling for it underneath. Now comes the Devlin, he wants to go hard, layup, shot, score. So Luke Devlin, that's his first points of the game as we approach the end of the first half here. The Panthers will play for one shot, 44 to 26. It's been all Panthers as you can imagine. Started off strong and no surprise that it Ashton Gibbs will have the ball with eight seconds to go. It's going to make something happen. Bullet past the Woodall. Wide open three-point shot. It's down. <laughs> Long desperation shot. No good. The Panthers in control. 47 to 26. We'll have more halftime analysis when we come back from the Peterson Event Center. Boy, it's been fun so far in that first half. Curtis Aiken, Greg Linelli on the call. Back with more halftime analysis right here on the Comcast Network. Eleven to seven. Forty-seven to twenty-six. The Pitt Panthers in control. And Curtis, when you take a look at that first half, that was a lot of fun to watch. It was unbelievable. Well, it really was. It was fun to call. And if you think about what Jamie Dixon may be telling these guys in the locker room, probably unlike. 
the last game that they played here. You know, I think he's doing a lot of encouraging in terms of telling this team to continue to move the basketball and play like you're playing on the offensive end. Try to maintain that intensity that you're doing on the defensive end. They're playing well on both sides of the basketball. You mentioned it starts defensively. Nasir Robinson, I thought, really set the tone early and often. And then, of course, Ashton Gibbs able to finish things off. But really a complete effort all around. It, it really was. And I thought Dante Taylor did a good job in the paint as well as posting up and getting the basketball and making good decisions with the ball. Ashton Gibbs, as you know, 15 points, nine Nothing that we didn't expect, but just solid getting in the, in the lanes and creating opportunities for other guys as well. Another guy that was fantastic, Dante Taylor, really showed a little bit of an inside game, and he was a presence defensively taking a charge and really altering a lot of shots. Well, he's playing with a great deal of heart this year. I mean, something yeah. that I'll be first first one to admit, I questioned that last year, how much heart he was playing with, but he's much more active on both ends of the floor. He's running the floor. That's why he's getting minutes, because Jamie Dixon is recognizing that as well. No doubt about it. 47-26 here at halftime. And fans, don't forget, Pitt Mobile Join the network presented by AT&T and Songwill by texting PITT to 94253 to receive free score updates, Panther alerts, and prize giveaways on your mobile phone. Standard data and message rates apply. We'll have more halftime analysis when we come back right here on the Comcast Network. Panthers in control, 47-26 here at halftime. Panther fans, get your blue and gold gear for the 2011 season at the Panthers team store and online store. New Nike gear is available now. Shop today at the Panthers team store located in the lobby of the Peterson Event Center or online at PittsburghPanthers.com. It's been fun so far at the first half. More second half analysis coming up next right here on the Comcast Network. Well, it's been all Panthers here tonight at the Peterson Event Center, 47 to 26 over Albany. And Curtis, really, when you take a look at that first half, they were efficient. But the Great Danes, they got some pretty good scoring from the one guy that we thought could score, and that was Gerardo Suero. He was fantastic, and he had 12 points. He was everywhere. He, he really was, and Suero's done a great job, at least the first half, of getting to the cup. Ten free throws already, six out of ten from the free throw line, but he did a good job of getting to the basket. Only the the only person right now on the team that's active offensively. I mean, if you look, no one else from from uh, Albany's team has gotten to the free throw line in this entire first half, but this guy is being very aggressive, as you see, with a nice steal there, take the ball to the rim, nice finish, but he's been the only answer for Albany so far. He has been, and you can take a look what he did in the Juco League, 22 points he averaged. Sometimes that doesn't translate to the Division One level, but he's been the only guy that was aggressive uh, for the Great Danes, and then obviously we talk about being aggressive. Boy, Ashton Gibbs was fantastic. He finished that first half with 15 points, and I thought, Curtis, we saw everything from Ashton in that first half. We saw the rebounding, the passing, and of course the shooting. Well, you know, I, I really enjoy watching this kid play, but I liken his game to Rick Hamilton, always moving without the basketball. I mean, if you're going to guard him, you got to guard him for the entire possession that the Panthers have the basketball because he can fill it up, as you can see here. Does a good job of moving without the basketball. There, there there's an area that he's improved in, that mid-range jump shot. It's all mid-range. He hasn't hit a three yet. But he's doing a good job of getting in the lane and finishing with those nice little floaters. And I thought one guy that set the tone for the Panthers early, Nasir Robinson, his leg looked fine. And, boy, was he getting <laughs> to the rim. And as you mentioned, he's really a garbage guy, isn't he? He is. And he plays with a lot of energy and starting to do a, a good job of getting the ball to the basket as well. Not known for his jump shooting, so he's always looking to get, to, get the ball to the basket. Nice up and under move there. Very active. Patterson finds him here. Cutting to the lane, was able to finish there. But this team is playing great basketball because they're moving the basketball. Nice finish there with the left hand by Narcir Robinson. They're finishing, and they've done a great job. Second half action is coming up next. 47 to 26, and I think statistically when you take a look at the Panthers as well, shooting a high percentage. At one point, they were shooting close to 65% in that first half. They tailed off just a little bit, but look at that. 19 for 32, 17 rebounds, and what I like, the assists to the field goals, which has been fantastic. It, it really has, and you, typically you give Wood all that credit, but you have to give everybody that credit today because everyone's sharing the basketball. Second half action coming up next here at the Pete. The Panthers in control. You're watching it right here on the Comcast Network. PM. 47-26, Panthers in control. Second half about to get underway. And Curtis, we take a look at this Panthers team. What do we expect from them in this second half? 
Well, I, I would expect that they would play much the same way. I also would think that Jamie Dixon would look to get some of the younger guys in. I talked about Gilbert not, not getting any minutes the first half, get some of those younger guys in the second half. But let's keep an eye on this guy right here. He has five assists, his career high is seven. So let's pay attention to that as well. Shooting the ball, passing the ball. He's rebounding as well. And it's a pretty good line for Ashton Gibbs as the Panthers continue to look impressive early on. Great Danes, they're gonna come out man to man, try and mix things up, and they've had a half to kind of settle things down for them as well. They run these sets, they're so disciplined. Robinson throws up a wild shot that time, it goes out of bounds, and it's gonna be Panthers ball. Ill-advised shot, I think he was expecting a contact, it never occurred. And just Robinson, one of those players that the energy doesn't stop. You mentioned Gibbs, who always runs around, and Robinson, very similar from that standpoint. Panthers turn over the ball is one of the few mistakes Trayvon Woodall has made this game. Not the way you wanted to start the second half. Aaron Holt, they want to go low blocks. Blocked by Dante Taylor into the hands of Woodall. The Panthers want to run. Now reward the big guy. Now Woodall three on the way. It's going to be short. And Suero picks it up for the Great Danes. Good pass underneath to Aaron Holt. Shot score, 47-28. Nice fast break by Albany, but I would have loved to, to have seen Ashton Gibbs reward Taylor from bailing him out because Taylor, uh, Ashton Gibbs was posted up and Taylor came over to help out for a nice block. Reward the big fella, as you said. He's somebody that certainly can run the floor as well. So Woodall looking to settle things down for the Panthers. They get into their set with 12 to go on the shot block. Gibbs, Suero on him. That is a tough matchup for Suero. Gibbs, hesitation, gets it to Woodall. He's gonna have to launch a deep three-point shot and he rattles it home. <laughs> is that Ashton Gibbs or Trayvon Woodall? Well, I, you know, I don't think Jamie Dixon was happy. It was one of those no, 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 good shots. Uh, waited to the shot clock and there almost ran out on him. We've seen Woodall, I mean, he's not afraid to step back and take that shot fearless. He pulls down the rebound, good pass to Robinson. Another bounce pass, and it goes off the defender. It'll be Panthers ball underneath the Great Danes hoop. Well, Woodoff so far, an excellent game. 11 points, eight assists, only one turnover. That's, That's what you'd like to see from a solid point guard. That Jamie Dixon will look at that box score and take that every single time. Patterson has it. Top the key to Gibbs. Team so disciplined over the years in their offensive sets, there's no panic in the Panthers. Gibbs wants to do a little crossover dribble, needs some help. And he's going to take a timeout. As he got a little bit in trouble there. 50 to 28, the Panthers in control. We'll go to break. We'll come back. More Panthers coverage right here on the Comcast Network. Aaron, you're all set. Great, thanks. Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies to make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The discount double check move? It's my touchdown dance. So you're a dancer? No, I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. More. I'm a robot. <laughs> Where's your <team? laughs> Get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his. How about you? Rodgers! Discount double check! Get to a better state. State Farm. Prove the weather report wrong. Again. And again. And again. X-Drive Intelligent All-Wheel Drive. Now on 26 BMW models, including the 528i X-Drive sedan. Hurry in to the BMW Mission to Drive sales event for an up to $2,500 credit toward a new BMW. When you open your small business phone bill, are you scared of unexpected charges? Then switch to Optimum Business. Get predictable, flat rate pricing for unlimited calling and high-speed internet that's up to five times faster than the phone company. With live tech support available 24-7. You get all this for only this. Call 1-866-255-7728 and switch to the business more businesses rely on. Do you have a pot of gold sitting in your home? 
Hi, I'm Keith Hernandez. With gold at historic highs, now is the time to cash in your gold jewelry and coins. With 38 years of experience, trust Coin Galleries of Oyster Bay to pay you the highest prices for your gold. So whether you're buying or selling, come to one of our six locations. No gimmicks, we just pay the highest prices for your gold jewelry, guaranteed. Coin Galleries of Oyster Bay, where you can turn your pot of gold into cash. It's been all Panthers here tonight, 50 to 28, and one guy that's really led the attack for the Panthers, Trayvon Woodall. He's been fantastic, Curtis. He, he has. I mentioned he had eight, eight assists, but, you know, if you leave him open, he can knock down a shot as well. A great compliment to Aston Gibbs because they're going to be doing a lot of double teaming on Aston Gibbs, and if you give Woodall this shot, he's been knocking it down consistently this year. And when you take a look at his assist to turnover ratio, it's an impressive stat because of how the Big East has played. So many good defenders, so many good teams, and he has just been fantastic since he's taken on a bigger role here at Pitt. And you mentioned that backcourt with Gibbs and, and Woodall. One of the best in the nation. No question. Batman and Robin. Yeah, absolutely. Gibbs has it. Taylor comes out. Coach Dixon won it all. Oh, and Gibbs just says, you know what? Layup. I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna take a three. <laughs> And it went down. Well, when he's wide, when he's that wide open, consider yeah. it a layup. Never touched the rim. 53-28. The Panthers are pouring it on. Oh, look at Woodall with the strip. They have numbers. Great Danes wanted a foul. Nothing called. Woodall pulls it back. Gibbs, he's feeling it. You know he wants to attack right away. He resets. Woodall. Such a calming influence on the court for the Panthers. That time, now Black is on Gibbs. What a look at that hierarchy shot. Almost hit the rafters, Curtis. Little rainbow. A little rain by Trayvon. Look at Black, he wants to attack. He goes in and he's fouled. And Woodall's gonna help him up, but Good solid how high foul. was that shot? <laughs> Woodall just showing us everything. And of course, Ashton Gibbs, his ability to make things happen. Look at that shot. How high the arc, and you mentioned if that shot starts falling, how dangerous he becomes now as an offensive player. Well, the Pitt Panther team as a whole, I mean, you got, at that point with Patterson on the floor, you got some very good jump shooters. Yeah. Which obviously creates, I mean, you have to respect where they are on the floor at all times, and it creates opportunities inside for guys like that. You see leaving the game there, Dante Taylor. And also a guy like Talib Zana who enters the game. Black at the free throw line, gets that to go. But it's been all Panthers so far in this game, 55 to 30. Just a matter Pouring of picking their poison. Salute. Good to see guys like Robinson, Patterson continue to emerge. Of course, Nasir Robinson getting healthy. Gibbs with the left-handed shot. He's working on that in the pregame, and Great Danes want to run. Here comes Suero. He says, I'm going to take it all in, and he does. A little two-on-one mini break there for the Great Danes. He's got 14 to lead the Danes. Now with the ball is Robinson. Zana comes out to attack that ball. As you mentioned, Curtis, such a difficult matchup when you're defending a guy like Ashton Gibbs because he just runs around. And if you touch him and foul him, you can put it in the book because he's going to knock down the free throws. He's smiling. He's out there. He's having fun. Seven to go on the shot clock. What's Woodall going to do? Is he going to launch another three? He's going to penetrate. Smart play. Pump fake. Gibbs. Jumper. Rims out. Tipped by Robinson. And Patterson decides to keep it down. Gibbs says, thank you very much. Lay I'm going to shoot the three ball. How about the unselfish play of Patterson? Could have shot the ball, Curtis. Decided to get it to the guy. That's an automatic layup. You know, the thing I also like about Gibbs is he has that killer instinct. Yeah. You know, never is letting up. He's always on the attack, always forcing the issue. Great jump shooter. 58 to 32. And we have a foul. We do. That will stop the clock. And that will be immediate timeout. We'll go to break. 58-32 Panthers just continue to be dominant in this game. We'll take a zero calories. Taste, 
Great save, kid. You deserve this. Pepsi Max, the official soft drink of Major League Baseball. The only thing better than getting what you wished for is getting more than you wished for. Now during the Lincoln Wishlist event, get four years complimentary maintenance, plus the season's most attractive sign and drive offer on a Lincoln MKZ. Get more than you wished for. I'm Hillary Davis, and this is my heart. The heart that was broken twice in the eighth grade. The heart I thought might burst the first time I laid eyes on my son. And the heart that sank when I was told I needed a triple bypass. But it's also the heart I put in the hands of the cardiac surgeons at North Shore LIJ. And now, it's the heart that doesn't take a single beat for granted. Just how many appliances are on our wish lists? Because this season, the timing couldn't be better. Right now, we can get those Black Friday prices without fighting through all those Black Friday crowds. Which means we can do more this year without waiting around for the season to start. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Why wait for Black Friday? Choose either this top load or front load washer for just 499 bucks. It's your direct line to the top New York sports stories of the day. We're going the whole nine innings. With insider info and opinion. In the Wheelhouse, presented by Pepsi. Part of the New York Sports Local. Weekdays at 5.30, only on SNY. Get your New York sports here. Event Center, 58-32. And the reason, Ashton Gibbs, he's got 21 points, Curtis, and he's doing it every single way you can imagine. Well, what I like is he never takes his foot off the gas pedal. His mentality is, Coach, if you want me to slow down, take me out because I'm full throttle when I'm in the game. And he's got the confidence, as you mentioned, the, the trigger to shoot the three ball. And how about Patterson getting it to the open guy? And that's pretty much a layup for Ashton Gibbs. <laughs> he's been fantastic. And it's our People's Natural Gas stat. Set the school record. I mean, that's unbelievable when you take a look. 102. That's fantastic when you take a look at where Ashton Gibbs was as a freshman to where he is right now. Hey, now, that's not a 102 shot. That's 102 made. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we all can shoot 102, right? <laughs> Woodall gets fouled hard to the ground. He'll shoot two. Yeah, it's an outstanding stat. 102 three-pointers made. Patterson with those long arms. And, boy, he's been a, a great outlet passer as well. We've seen that. He had the one pass out to Nasir Robinson a little earlier in this game. And again, we talk about a good defense leading to good offense. Woodall at the free throw line. He rattles that home. And right now, he's got 14 points. 14 points, eight assists, one turnover. That's just an unbelievable stat. Second free throw attempt is good. So right now, the Panthers just... Well, they're doing what the Pitt Panthers should do in a game like this, 60 to 32. Look at Zana, just getting his hands in there. The Great Danes, they want a foul. Willie Brown and his club, they're not getting it. And I tell you what, John Johnson. John Johnson says, I'm gonna join in on this barrage from three point range. Aaron Holt had a three point shot going and out. Patterson fighting for it, goes out of bounds. And John Johnson says, Ashton, you take a rest. I got it from here. <laughs> rest your elbow. I want to get involved. What an unbelievable shooting performance by the Panthers. 63 to 32. Now the Great Danes, they compete in the America East Conference. They haven't seen a team like this in quite some time. Black now is going to regain himself here and try and get his team involved offensively. Gets a couple screens. Johnson on him. And they're going to call what a reach foul on Johnson that time. So Jimmy Dixon putting these younger players in a situation to see what they can do. Because as you know, Curtis, 10, 15 games into the season, you're going to need all these guys. No question. I mean, you know, 14 minutes to go in the ball game, I would expect Jamie with about 7 to 8 to go to start putting even more of the younger guys in. But... What an excellent performance by the Panthers thus far. 
Aaron Hall gets that to go down. That's a nice looking jump shot. Well, I haven't heard his name much today. He's one of the, well, he's the second leading scorer on the team. And he's got nine. Suero's got 14. 63 34, not nearly enough. Now Johnson has it on the wing. Gets a curling Patterson. He's going to put it on the floor. He's going to scoop a shot. Almost got down. Battled for it. <laughs> and here come the Great Danes. Black, season opening. Wanted to shoot, didn't. Now Suero says, I will. Bank no good. Zana tried to tip it to himself. Went to Woodall. Look at that pass. Right to Robinson. Spin, shot. Oh, just a little short. Battling for it. Comes into Patterson's hands. Zana bounced past to Robinson. And there's some pushing and shoving going on a little <laughs> bit. I think Robinson was frustrated. He didn't make the layup early on. Very frustrated, very frustrated on that play, but I thought Zana did a good job of keeping it alive. Good heads up play by Woodall. Just wasn't able to get it in by the big fella. They kept it alive. Arms flying everywhere. And again, we talk about being the garbage player. He wasn't going to give up on that play so easily. Well, I think they called the wrong guy with the foul. <laughs> Robinson was a little <laughs> frustrated. Right. and little shove, right? Worked out for the Panthers. He's got that big-time motor. What a pass by Woodall, though. Goes Robinson again. He's going to try a flying hook shot. Zana's going to crash the boards. He's going to muscle his way in. It's short, but he will shoot two. And Aaron Holt is fuming right now at his team. He wants them to get a body. So Zana goes to the free throw line. The Panthers pretty much getting any type of shot they want. And right now, you take a look at Will Brown's team. They're going to be competitive in their conference. They're just overmatched right now. First free throw attempt. Clearly no overmatched in every position. As you see, Aston Gibbs is checked back into the game. Hello, Zana. Really could have used him last year at the end of the season. Good to see him back. Talk about a raw talent in Zana. Physically, just imposing. You know, can, can run, can jump. But, uh, you know, not to belabor the point, but I thought he was the difference in the team last yeah. year. Not having him in the NCAA tournament, yeah. and even the Big East tournament, for that matter, could have been a different story. Another guy in Jamie Dixon's system that you hope gets better. Is he battling forward underneath? Ball was kicked out to Black. He's going to launch a three ball, and it's good. Forced him to a tough shot, but Albany is just all one-on-one. -on -one. No, yeah. Nothing in the, in the rhythm, no fluid offense at all. It's just get it and put your head down and get to the rack. Pitt is doing a good job of forcing him into tough shots, as you saw there. It's tough to go one-on-five. That's what the Panthers make you do. So Cam Wright in the ball game. Gets it to Johnson. You take a look at this backcourt right now. Johnson and Wright. Now they get it to Gibbs. He looks at the shot clock and sees that there's 10 seconds and says, somebody give me a pick. Goes through his legs once, twice. Puts it on the floor. What's he going to do? He's going to put it up. <laughs> what do you he think does. he's going to do? <laughs> and that time, just good defense by the Great Danes. Nowhere for Gibbs to go. Now Aaron Hall, three-point shot from the corner. It's off of Mark Swero. Rebound shot, and he's fouled by Zana. So the Panthers fell asleep a little there defensively. Aaron Hall had a clean look in the corner. Jamie Dixon takes a seat. So Gerardo Suero, he's got 14 points. He's been their best player by far. And his first free throw attempt in the second half. He's struggling from the free throw line. Yeah. Dante Taylor comes in. Suero, as you mentioned, Curtis, six for 11 now shooting free throws. Got Birch and Taylor. I know you're interested to see this kind of lineup. Yeah. Notice the athleticism there from the bigs. Suero's kind of shaking his head a little bit. He's 50% from the free throw line. Left side, that's gonna be right. He pulls up 15 footer, it's down. No hesitation there. Cameron Wright not known for being a jump shooter, but he says, let me get in the act. Everyone well, you know else this. is knocking him down. You know this. When nobody's on you, you become a better shooter. <laughs> Black is going to launch a three ball. Off the mark. Try to have back-to-back. -back. Aaron Hall's going to try a 10-footer from the corner, and it's good. So he's got 11 points, and he's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second half. As the Panthers still in control, 66-39. to 39. I'd like to see maybe Birch get involved a little bit offensively. We'll see if the Panthers go to him at all. Taylor running the baseline. He goes in reverse layup. It was blocked. And 
out of bounds. All Panthers, back after this at the Peterson Event Center right here on the Comcast Network. Sports bars can get pretty intense. To stay cool, you need a little coaching. That's where I come in. Nice. It's about frost brewed time, Johnson. Coach uses lots of techniques to keep us refreshed. I can't believe you missed the extra pint. It's not just cold, it's super cold. He yells at us. Why is this empty, lover boy? When it comes come to on, big boy. refreshment, we could all Get use a little here. coaching. Frost brewed Coors Light, the game's most refreshing beer. Lick it up, lick it down. Why do we have Aflac? Aflac! And Major Medical. Major Medical Boy! I help pay the doctor. Ain't that enough for you? There are things Major Medical doesn't do. Aflac pays cash so we don't have to fret. Something families should get. Like a safety net. Even helps pay deductibles to cover your back with. Ah, 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 help protect your family at aflac.com. <laughs> shocked how much data you use in a month. Email, status updates, finding your way, uploading photos, downloading an app, an app, and another app. Kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, all stacking up until you reach your limit. And what happens if you go over? With Sprint, you don't have to worry. Only Sprint offers truly unlimited data. Vicky's Basketball on SNY. The Golden Eagles return to action as they tip off their regular season against the Mountaineers in Milwaukee. Mount St. Mary's and Marquette coming up next on SNY. Tonight at Geico Sports Night, the Jets are ready and it's looking like the Sanchez will have a key weapon at his disposal and the Hurricanes blow into MSG and face the Red Hot Rangers looking for their sixth straight win. Catch all the details tonight on Geico Sports Night. 56 to 39 here at the Peterson Event Center. It's been all Panthers. Hey, Panther fans, don't forget, four game mini packages for Pitt women's basketball are on sale now. Receive two tickets to four home games of your choice for just $20. Uh, buy one, get one free value. Call 1 800 643 PITT or log on to PittsburghPanthers.com slash tickets for more info. Ashton Gibbs hoping to continue the good play there for the Pitt Panthers in this second half. Well, you talk about Aston Gibbs, 21 points, yep. but tied his career high in assists. Seven assists tonight with 11.34 to go. He may break it. Let's see if Gibbs can do just that. Johnson trying to get the ball in bounds. And we have a five second violation, we do. Jamie Dixon not happy there. It didn't look like anybody was open. <laughs> and the youngster had to eat the five second call. That's one of the things that the Panthers are so efficient at, and that is executing from their out-of-bounds yeah. plays. They usually get wide-open looks at the rim. So the Great Danes trying to make this a little closer than what it is right now. Black has it top of the key. He's going to launch a 10-footer, and it's nothing but net right there down the middle. So Black getting involved a little offensively in this half. Yeah, just, but on the offensive end, it's just all one-on-one. -on -one. There's no ball movement. No one else is setting screens away from the ball. It's just a tough way to beat a good team. It's not going to happen. Johnson left side for the Panthers. Now gets it to Cam Wright. Curling Gibbs. Seems like he's just everywhere. Good defense that time by the Danes. Now Wright thought about shooting. He's going to put it on the floor. Good bounce pass to Taylor. He bobbled it momentarily. Needs some help. Dribbles it with his right. Little hook shot, and it's down. We've seen that twice so far in this game by Dante Taylor, showing a nice touch. Very patient when he got the basketball, was aware of where he was on the floor, went to his hook shot. Nice finish. And as a guard, you got to feel confidence there. If your big guy's going to make those shots, you're going to keep going to him. Look at Birch come in, swooping, force the pass, and give credit to the Great Danes. Watts was able to knock it down. The excellent find. 68-43 in the Great Danes. They want to call a timeout, but we talk about offensively what the Panthers are able to do and going under, underneath to a guy like Dante Taylor was fantastic as we see the great pass by Black that time, the open look. But as a point guard, Curtis, you can appreciate when your big guys can make plays underneath, you're going to continue to go to them. And yes. if Dante Taylor can continue to 
give you 10, 12 points a game, that's more confidence for Gibbs and Woodall. Sure. I mean, you call his number more. You create more iso isolations for him. I mean, if, if he can finish like that, trust me, Jamie Dixon will be calling some isos for him and getting the basketball inside because you want that inside-out combination right now with pretty much a perimeter team. No doubt about it. Hey, Panther fans, get your blue and gold gear for the 2011 season at the Panthers team store and online store. New Nike gear is available now. Shop today at the Panthers team store located in the lobby of the Peterson Event Center or online at PittsburghPanthers.com. 10-12 remaining in the second half. 68-43. to The Panthers are up. Taylor and Birch in the lineup for the Panthers. This will be fun to watch, watching these two guys continue to develop for the Panthers. A lot of hype with Birch, obviously, and Dante Taylor. Another guy, a lot of head. Comes Woodall, top the key to right. It's a curling Gibbs. Looked like he got fouled. His shot was blocked, but he did get fouled. So that foul was called on Blake Metcalf, the junior at 6'9". I was going to take a look at the stats. I mean, obviously, you know, one thing we have to pay attention to is we talk about Dante Taylor, mm -hmm. seven points, seven rebounds. Pretty, one of his better games so far this year, I would say. No doubt about it. Close to a double-double is what I was going to put it on the floor. He tried to get a knifing pass to Kem Birch, and they're going to reset. Woodall has a left side, gets a pick from Birch. What's Woodall going to do with it? Gibbs comes off the screen, thought about shooting. He's going to put it on the floor, and you can just see the Great Danes hovering around Gibbs. Woodall is going to put it on the floor. Bank good. good uh, Trey Woodall has been unbelievable tonight. Under control, nice. I mean, very good control. Usually when he's getting in, into the lane, sometimes he's out of control, but very much under control there. Good decision to use the backboard. Nine assists to go along with his uh, 17 points. 70 to 43. The Panthers are just pouring it on right now. And they get Birch on the hedge. Being a little too ambitious, but you see a young guy like that, what he's been able to do so far, he's only going to continue to get better. And you talk about his reach and his athleticism. If he can just be a force defensively, I think early on, Curtis, I think that's what the Panthers would want. Yeah, the other thing I like is he doesn't try to do too much. He's let the, he lets the game come to him. Most young guys, they try to get involved and, and do too much when they yeah. get the basketball. And really doesn't do a good job defensively when you're a young guy, but he seems to hold his own defensively. Comes Black after the hedge by Dante Taylor. Now the ball is stripped. Patterson throws an outlet pass to Woodall. Woodall has numbers. And keeps it back a trailing Patterson. He shows a little pump fake. Dribbling with his left. He's going to pull back. That's a 12-footer. Rims out. Ken Birch, weak side rebound. He got fouled, and he will shoot two. No, that's just determination in the heart of Ken Birch that time. 70 to 43 right now. Panthers in control. Eight forty-four to go, and all the players that have played, all nine players that have played for the Panthers, Curtis, have now scored in this ball game. You want to talk about spreading the wealth? That's exactly what the Panthers have done. Absolutely, and the testament of that is the fact that they have twenty assists as a team. Yeah, that's. Unselfish, that's pit basketball in a nutshell. Talib Zana looks to check in for the Panthers. Here comes Black for the Great Danes. 8.32 to go in this contest. The Oakland Zoo is loud and they are vocal. Suero, he's going to knife through the lane and he creates some contact. He's got 14 points, he's going to shoot two. Uh, Dante Taylor's a little frustrated with that. He held his ground. Uh, it didn't look like he bailed him out with a foul. It looked like he had his hand straight up. But the ref saw it another way. Well, Suero, to his credit, has continued to force the action a little bit offensively. And when you do that, I think the officials see that. And you might get the benefit of the doubt every once in a while. He finally hits a free throw. 7 for 13 now at the free throw line. He's got 15 points right now. Aaron Holt comes back in. When we talked about career highs on the other end for the Pitt Panthers, we talked about the fact that Ashton Gibbs tied yeah. his career highs assist-wise, could break that if he continues to stay in the game. But the other guy with the basketball, Woodall, his career high is 19 points. He has 17 now. Maybe he ties or breaks his career high from a point production standpoint. Wouldn't it be interesting if he did it with a three ball? 
He's had a couple in this game already. Gibbs has it right side. Here comes Woodall top of the key. Thought about shooting, didn't. Gets it to Patterson, close range. Left side now to Gibbs. Looks like the Great Danes are in a matchup zone. Panthers easily break that. For the career high, Trey Woodall. I think he heard us. <laughs> I think he heard us, Curtis. He said, I needed a three, and I'm going to do that. Comes Excellent job. Career high for Woodall, 21 points. 75, 45, I'm 30. 20, 20 points. His career high prior to today was 19, 20 points. No Good doubt job, about it. Bro. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this, right here on the Comcast Network. Cut. I have a small part in a big movie. I thought we'd be on location for three days. It's been three weeks. So I used my City Simplicity card to pick up a few things, and I don't have to worry about a late fee, which is good. No! Bigger! Because bigger. I don't think we're going anywhere for a while. Write your story with the new City Simplicity card. No late fees, no penalty rate, no worries. Get started at citysimplicity.com. back we call tuesday caesar's atlantic city routinely spectacular vicky what do i do with all this scrap metal dad what should jan do with all her scrap metal just tell her to call two brothers scrap metal got scrap call two brothers scrap metal and recycle your aluminum copper brass steel or any scrap metal for the highest price two brothers also provides residential and commercial pickup drum handling, radio dispatch lift trucks, and free roll-off service. Recycling makes sense. Now get dollars with those cents. Call or visit online at twobrotherscrapmetal.com. So, do you have any questions? What is your soup of the day? Uh, we have a mulligatawny soup. Oh, do you have any specials? We have a steak special today. Oh, how is that cooked? That's pan seared and then... Does it come with a side dish? Is it grilled? Can I have it steamed? So, what do you recommend? What kind of pie do you have? You an actor. Aren't you from Ohio? Any questions? Ask questions. For the 10 questions everyone should know, go to ahrq.gov. Panthers on fire here at the Peterson Event Center. They're up by 30, and Trey Woodall, certainly Curtis, has been one of the reasons why the Panthers have been so good tonight. Well, he's done it all, as you, as you mentioned. I mean, you talk about assists, nine assists. Two, two for two from the free throw line, make an excellent decision when he gets into the lane, as you saw there. And obviously, when Aston Gibbs has the basketball, you have to respect him. And if he can continue to knock down those yeah. shots from the other side, it's going to be a great year for the Pitt Panthers. I don't know if that was in the scouting report for the Great Danes, Trey Woodall knocking three-point shots down, but they've got to be a little bit shocked. But clearly, Trey Woodall has worked on his game, and he's made himself a better player. Much more under control. Great Dane's ball underneath. So right now the Panthers just in control from the get-go, as you would expect. Aaron Holt's going to put it on the floor, contested by Woodall. That was blocked. So he says, you know what, I need a block to go on my stat line. Put that in the stat. Yes, Absolutely. Sir. Patterson, good hesitation, good pass to Woodall. Thought about shooting, didn't. Just look how unselfish this team is. Woodall... Could have fired that ball from the right wing, didn't. Now Gibbs, he's going to pull up for a 15-footer. No good. Such a quick release as well, though. Outlet from the Great Danes. They want to push. Oh, Robinson, great job. Contesting shot. Put back good. And that was Sam Rowley getting involved in the scoring. Peter Hooley also involved in the game for the Great Danes. As you can see, Maybe the Great Danes going a little bit deeper to their bench, getting some guys some playing time. As this game pretty much has been over from the get-go. Zana, left-handed layup, down, good. Was that from Woodall? Yes, it was. I think it was. It's a double-double for Woodall. 20 points, 10 assists. In one bad. block. Yeah. He'll like that block, too. We'll talk about that for a while. <laughs> Hey, Panther fans, join the Panther Club and contribute to the Athletic Scholarship Fund that directly supports the annual athletic and academic development of Pitt student-athletes. Call the Panther Club 
at 412-648-8889 to join or for more information. 77-47, Panthers dominating. Isaiah Epps into the ball game for the first time. Didn't play in the last exhibition game. Here comes Patterson, good pass underneath to Robinson who just continues to get it done. I think they gave that to Robinson and we'll see how many points he's got. Great pass though by the Panthers. Man-to-man -man defense right now by the Panthers. Epps all over his man. Knifing through the lane, layup, shot, score, and one. And Sam Rowley that time, he's had back-to-back -back buckets for the Great Danes. He's gonna go to the free throw line. So Robinson picked up the foul. Jamie Dixon wasn't happy with that particular defensive set. Robinson playing defense with his hands, not his feet. Picked up the personal. Free throw attempt is good. So Woodall just patiently will walk the ball up. Let's see if Epps can get involved in the scoring. That would be 10 players for the Panthers who would have scored. Woodall gets it left side. Patterson. Zana wants the ball. They don't go to him. Uh, Woodall has it right side. He's going to pull up for a 12-footer. I tell you what, Trey Woodall, he's in what they call a zone, Curtis Aiken. He has it going. He has just been fun to watch tonight. Making all the right decisions. It's one of those where you like to look at the game film after the game. Yeah, let's break this one down, Coach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coach, remember that Albany game yes. where I had a double-double and I was hitting threes from about 25? Somehow these aren't the games that the coaches break down. <laughs> I think you're right. I've been on the receiving end of some <laughs> breakdowns of some film, and it wasn't these games. Right. <laughs> so Suero will go to the free throw line. Man, that's off the mark. He certainly struggled from the charity stripe with a couple of substitutions. Black will come in. And Gario will come in as well for Albany. Suero, 16 points, but you can see from the free throw line, have a bigger game if he was able to convert. Does on that opportunity. The Panthers are up by 30 now. You know, with 4.56 to go in the ball game, I would expect that Jamie Dixon will be calling a timeout soon, and not necessarily to make substitution, yeah. but just to talk to his team about finishing sharp. You know, they played such a good game all game. You don't want to be sloppy. You, you know, that's when guys get hurt. As you see, uh, I believe Cameron Wright checking into the ball game. Woodall, they want to go low blocks to Robinson. He's quickly double teamed. It's it back out to Woodall and the way he's been going tonight. That is not a bad option. Crossover dribble penetrates baseline. What a pass underneath the Zana. I don't think he was ready for it, though. No, he wasn't. Stolen by Robinson. Bounce pass to Woodall. Try to go behind the back to Zana. Now he gets it back out to Batterson. I think Woodall wanted a little showtime there. Yeah. Well, it was actually the right decision. It was. Either jump out of bounds with the ball or try to wrap it behind right. your back and hit a cutting Monsieur Robinson. Oh, Epps over to Woodall. He's going to launch a three-point shot again. And I tell you right now, I mean, Trey Woodall is just putting on a clinic. Typically him, Ashton Gibbs, right? But He's giving him buckets. <laughs> Long buckets. <laughs> wow, is he on fire. Here Five for seven from three. Whew. What's the call here? We have a foul. Little reach. 84 to 51. It's been the Trey Woodall Show here at the Peterson Event Center. Back after this right here on the Comcast Network. You're going. Aaron, you're all set. Great, thanks. Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies and make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The discount double check move? It's my touchdown dance. So you're a dancer? No, I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. More. I'm a robot. <laughs> Where's your teacher? <laughs> get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his. How about you? Rodgers! Discount double check! Get to a better state. State Farm. Attention shoppers. 
Your groceries are the size of Idaho, but the interest rate on your checking is small potatoes. I'm more at Capital One Bank. Get new high yield free checking. Your interest rate will be five times the national average. That's huge. And free ATMs at any bank. Free is good. Sign up at Capital One Bank. Huh? What's in your wallet? What is it, your Clydesdale? Prove the weather report wrong. Again. And again. And again. X-Drive Intelligent All-Wheel Drive. Now on 26 BMW models, including the 528i X-Drive sedan. Hurry into the BMW Mission to Drive sales event before this offer self-destructs. It's the Jets on SNY. Get exclusive post-game access to all the player and coach reactions on Jets post-game live with on-field interviews, locker room coverage, and all of Rex Ryan's post-game comments. Plus, Joe Klecko, Ray Lucas, Adam Shine, and host Brian Custer cover every angle with in-depth game analysis and opinion on Jets post-game live presented by Toyota. Sunday, immediately after the game, only on SNY. Get your New York sports here. And by People's Natural Gas. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. 84 to 51. Greg Linnelli, Curtis Aiken with you. It's been the Trey Woodall Show, and he's been fantastic so far tonight for the Panthers. We talked about the career high, the shooting. He's going to get a rest, and he's going to let some younger guys develop here. But, boy, he's been fun to watch, Curtis, all game long. He really has, and he's probably done for the night. I would like to see him tie his career high rebounding. Uh, he has six rebounds as well. Career, career high is seven. It's pretty impressive. That line all the way around. This is a stat game, Curtis, for a lot of these guys. So Aaron Holt that time gets the free throw to go. So right now you have John Johnson, Cam Wright, and Isaiah Epps in the backcourt for the Panthers. And take a look at Zana and then Kem Birch. A lot of youth on that court. Getting some valuable playing time, though. 3.45 to go in this game. Look for Johnson to handle the point and Epps to move to the two. And Wright will be the small three. So Johnson walks it up. Gets it to Cam Wright. Epps, the lefty. Johnson's going to let it go. Long 15-footer. How about Epps, though, pulling it on the rebound? Want to see these young guys get a good shot here if they can. Epps has it left side. He can shoot it. Johnson's not afraid to take it in. He gets blocked. Trying to use that quickness to get by his defender. That time, weak side help. Good job by the Great Danes. Johnson will inbound. 22 to go on the shot clock. Here we go. Nice spacing on the court. See if they go down to Zana. They do. He's posting up hard, and he was fouled. Rolly that time. Six foot five, freshman. So it'll be Panthers ball. As the ball is kicked out of bounds. You know, Curtis, when you take a look at the Panthers right now, taking on Ryder, Long Beach State, LaSalle coming up, going to be at Penn, an opportunity for them to really get some confidence before they get into the Big East play, which is going to be difficult, as we all know. It is, but Ryder's not a bad team. I had an opportunity yeah. to talk a little bit with Brandon Knight uh, before the game, and he has that scout. He says, you know, that's a team that... You know, if, if, if the Panthers aren't on top of their game, they can stick around at the end of the game, which you don't want to do against a good team like Ryder who can knock down shots from the perimeter. You want to get them out early. Absolutely. That's what the Panthers did early in this game. He's struggling right now to get into their offense. Comes up, dribbling with his left. He's going to have to put it up. He pulls back, 12-footer on the way. It's good. What is that, 10 players now that have scored for the Pitt Panthers. That is impressive, and that was a tough shot by Epps. Nice, nice pull up. So Ken Birch comes out, tried to hedge a little bit, and Great Danes, they want to call a timeout. 
And I guess for the Great Danes, they're coaching like they're in this game because they're going to have to use this experience later in their season. Yeah, obviously, you know, it's early in the season for everybody, and they're looking, you know, for the right combinations as well. So. We talked about the Panthers' schedule, and clearly the Big East, obviously, we know how difficult it is, but uh, you take a look at LaSalle, and then Penn, and then obviously Robert Morris and Duquesne. You played in those games before, Curtis. They're going to be tough games. Both teams are improved, Robert Morris and Duquesne, and always fun watching the, the teams locally here compete against each other. Yeah, it, it is, and most of these guys play against each other, as you know, yeah. in the summer, uh, the Pro-Am lead, and, you know, there's no fear because they, they, they play with each other all year, and, they have, I mean, all summer they have an opportunity to compete against each other during the year, and they always get up to play against yeah. the Pitt Panthers. No doubt about it. It's a lot of fun, and what makes it fun, both those teams now are competitive to the point where it's a little bit of a game. For the Panthers, as we approach the two-minute mark, up convincingly. It's going to be a long three ball shot by the Great Danes. It's pulled down by right. He has numbers if he wants to push. Good bounce pass to Epps. He's going to let it launch from the right side. It's going to be long, and Aaron Hall pulls it down. It is. The walk ons possibly coming in. Shot no good as Ken Birch is going to get called for the foul. So Nick Rivers is going to come in and Aaron Nwankwo as well. And you hear the zoo behind the screaming Nick Rivers. He's been their fan favorite for a long time. And they will go nuts if he scores. Appreciate what the walk-ons do for the Panthers. These guys go hard in practice and they'll make those guys better. No doubt about it. Well, if he doesn't score, it's not going to be for <laughs> lack of effort. Because <laughs> Are you saying he's got the green light as soon as he comes in? Oh, he lets it go. <laughs> Great kid. Why not, right? 86 to 54. So Roley doesn't get that to go as Epps pulls it down. And that was Rivers with the rebound, so he's in the book. Let's see if they get him some shots. Comes Epps, he's gonna penetrate, goes behind his back. Now Rivers. The Wonkwo posting up hard. They don't go to him. All right side. Oh, Rivers is going to launch a three yes, ball. Sir. And rattles home. Yes, sir. How about that? He's got a little pep to his step as he getting back <laughs> on defense. As Albany responds with a shot. But how about Nick Rivers? You're right, Curtis. As soon as he came in, he had that green light. He's not afraid. Hey, Why not again, right? There's 48 seconds left. He's not done. <laughs> 89-56. Got to get it to him. What's Johnson going to do? He's going to put it on the floor. Why not? Rivers again. It's long. Birch is battling for it. And the Great Danes will pull it down. So this one is going to be in the banks for your Pitt Panthers. An impressive showing, no doubt. And a lot of young guys saw a lot of quality playing time. As the Great Danes will try and get one more shot. And Birch is going to pull down that rebound. And the Panthers will just walk it up. They were impressive from the beginning. They were impressive at the end. And at the end of the day, the Panthers end up defeating Albany 89-56. to We'll have the post-game wrap-up when we come back. What a great night if you're a Pitt Panther fan. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more post-game. Hopefully a couple interviews as well. Like so many great pioneers before me, guided only by a dream, I'm embarking on a journey of epic proportion. I will travel from sea to shining sea, through amber waves of grain, and I won't stop until I've helped every driver in America save hundreds on car insurance. Well, I'm at the parking lot. That's a good start. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. How are we going to make this season better than the last? How about making it brighter, more colorful, and putting all our helpers to work so we can build on our favorite traditions by adding a few new ones? We've all got garlands and budgets to stretch, and this year we can keep them both evergreen. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Here's a bright idea. Trade in any light string and get up to five bucks off the latest Christmas LEDs. 
It's all things New York sports, all on one site, featuring a continuous flow of sports news, straight from the best New York sports blogs, SNY.TV. When you start with a strong foundation, when you rise to meet complex challenges, when you realize the potential impact, and when you bring new ideas to life, anything is possible. Hail to Pitt. The best coverage of University of Pittsburgh Athletics is on Pitt Panthers Television on the Comcast Network every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Panthers fans can find game replays, coaches' shows, pregame shows, and the most comprehensive coverage of Pitt sports anywhere on TCN Channel 188 or Channel 210. For a complete weekly programming schedule, visit PittsburghPanthers.com and click on the Watch and Listen tab at the top of the page. Pitt Panthers Television, eight straight hours of Pitt programming every Sunday from 11 to 7. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. 89-56 win for the Pitt Panthers along with Curtis Aiken and head coach Jamie Dixon. And coach, first off, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Curtis and I, we were talking about it throughout the broadcast. A lot of guys contributed. Obviously, Trey Woodall had a fantastic night. He sure did. I like the six rebounds. We've seen the assists. We've really challenged him to get some more rebounds in uh, Ashton as well. So he did a lot of good things. Thought he was really patient, let things, let things come to him and uh, really did a good job of uh, uh, just penetrating, getting in the lane, and taking care of the ball. So that, that was very good. I, we played well. This is a good team. I mean, you'll see as this team goes on, the Albany will be in the top of their league, and that's why we played them. Uh, they got two good JC guys added and uh, a lot of returning guys, and uh, I think they'll be one of the top teams in the league. So we played well. Well, Coach, you talked about Wood on his rebound. He was only one rebound away from his career high, but talk yeah. a little bit about defense. I mean, I thought you guys did an excellent job of forcing them into tough shots throughout the game. The, we, we did some good things. You know, they shot 43%, and that, that's uh, we want to be under 40, and so that's still not good enough. And uh, we did some good things, uh, but I thought we had a lot of breakdowns. But we are still got a lot of young guys out there, I mean, and we, we were, were still making some mistakes. I mean, uh, Cam is learning some stuff on the fly there. We, they did some things we haven't practiced yet. And so you, you just got to keep uh, getting better. Cameron's out there, John Johnson. I mean, the, the list goes on of, of guys that got to keep getting better defensively. But I, I thought we did some good things early. I thought our defense kind of uh, uh, didn't get better as the game went on, and that's something we got to work on. Coach Curtis talked about in the broadcast, Ashton Gibbs so hard to defend, and he's moving without the ball so well and able to put it on the floor. And one thing he's talked about, getting to the free throw line a little bit more, and he was fantastic. He was. He was good. He was uh, seven assists or two. He made some good passes. Uh, I thought that they uh, t tried to do a good job on him as far as being physical with them and, and switching on to some stuff. But we, you got to be patient against the switches. They ran a matchup zone. That's what they normally play. But we attacked that really well. Then they turned to switching man. And, and uh, we attacked that pretty well, but we haven't worked on that very much at all so uh, that's their secondary defense I figured if they got to that then we'd really been in, eating up their uh, uh, their matchup zone well coach you talk about good passes 24 assists yeah. only seven turnovers well you, you're talking you, uh, of our uh, 16 was a 23 assist from our starting one two and three so uh, that, that that was impressive and uh, you know they're three very good passers and and Lamar had a quiet uh, six points seven rebounds six assists in 26 minutes so he played very well as well but we had we had good minutes for our guys i thought we spread it out uh malcolm fractured his finger the other day yesterday and it, he could have gone but I, I just felt let's let's just see i got the report back today and before the game i just figured go that way and and we're still figuring out what, what, what we're going to do with the run here yeah so we'll see how that guy plays out and coach it was good to see nasir robinson come in he was very active and, yeah. and you need guys like that as you know and he's he, had some really good games he did he got he's got to get more rebounds but uh, i thought he for the most part did some good things defensively uh, i'd say the one thing is we didn't come up with a lot of loose balls and sometimes when you get a little bit of a lead you're always kind of leaking out and letting somebody <laughs> else get that loose right. ball right. and that's what i thought we did a few times so we need to get the possession first and we'll be able to get down there with our passing and our quickness uh, we've got a quick team we've got a, uh, a young team but it's a team that's going to really I think get better I mean we got better these last two days we really did in practice and then we showed it out here tonight. Aston Gibbs is obviously the the most consistent player on the team but the man of the night was was uh, was uh, Trey Woodall, yeah. 25 points yeah. 10 assists 
You can't he, play much better than that. No, I, he really played well. And you know, he, he didn't take a bad shot. I mean, that was the thing that he, he, we really got to recognize. Not, not a bad shot. And, and that's why he had success. I, mean, I think guys that miss to take bad shots, get lose their confidence, lose their rhythm. You get patient, you let things come. We have so many good passers. If we can just wait for it, and now we got to get the young guys to understand that. Now John's got to figure that out. You know, he got a couple of baskets early. So then, you know, second half, let it, we'll get you a good shot. And, and he, he's just got to trust that and let that come to him. So we'll get better at that. Coach, thanks so much okay, for coming you. on. Great thanks, one for Greg. you guys. Thanks, Coach. Coach. Thanks Absolutely. 89-56 here at the Peterson Event Center. The Panther Classic Coach Dixon talked about the great shooting. For my partner, Curtis Aiken, I'm Greg Linelli. Keep it tuned here for all your Panthers coverage. It's Panthers television right here on the Comcast Network. Good night, everyone. It's all things New York sports, all on one site, featuring a continuous flow of sports news straight from the best New York sports blogs, SNY.TV. Darius Johnson Odom to lead the talented Golden Eagles. A perennial threat at the Big East Conference, Marquette figures to be in the mix yet again this season. Tonight, it's the season opener for Marquette against Mount St. Mary's. Next. Friday night in downtown Milwaukee, Veterans Day, and college basketball is back. 21st ranked Marquette against Mount St. Mary's as we welcome you into Al McGuire Court at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, along with former Marquette and NBA star Jim McElvain. I'm Dennis Krause. Great to have you with us. Well, as we documented, Marquette coming off a sweet 16 season, looking for a lot from Darius Johnson Odom this season, preseason all Big East selection. And Darius Johnson Odom is fortunately in a position where he's seen what happened with Jimmy Butler and before him Lazar Hayward and Wesley Matthews. The spotlight's shining on him now. There's, he's going to be the focus of other teams defensively. He's had great success in his first two years at Marquette, a thousand point score in just two seasons. But he's going to have to be able to distribute to his teammates as people focus on him. Marquette has some talented newcomers. A lot of curiosity about Jamil Wilson because he's from Racine Horlick transferred from Oregon, sat out last year. Not going to start tonight, but we should see a lot of him. And a tremendous athlete. Actually a very good high school volleyball player. That's going to get lost in his basketball career, but uh, great tools, great skills, can knock down the jump jump shot from outside, and, and a very solid leaper inside, rebounder, and, and a strong low post presence. Maybe he'll be spiking some slams tonight for the Marquette Golden Eagles. I'm sure he'll have a lot of family and friends on hand. Well, the fans at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee are excited for the return of college basketball and their highly ranked Golden Eagles. There are some suspensions for both teams that we'll talk about when we come back to Milwaukee. Brad, a New York sports junkie, just learned that watching sports on TV can increase testosterone levels. He watches SNY, the only network that's on the scene for every New York team. Other networks don't give Brad that kind of complete, in-depth coverage. With SNY, Brad gets all the New York sports he wants and all the man hormone he needs. SNY, up your dose of New York sports. Get your New York sports here! Range Rover Evoque. Each of these photos was taken by someone on the first morning of their retirement. It's the first of more than 6,000 sunrises the average retiree will see. As we're living longer than ever before, Prudential's challenge is to help everyone have the retirement income they'll need to enjoy every one of their days. Prudential. Bring your challenges.
Atmosphere at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee as the Marquette Golden Eagles are introduced. Opening night is always something special. Buzz Williams admitting to a little bit of nervousness just because of the unknown of a new team being unveiled. Marquette this year didn't play an exhibition game. They played two scrimmages instead against Kansas State and George Mason, which they feel better prepared them for the season. But that also means this is the first time for some of these players to be under the bright lights of a college basketball game. Both teams dealing with some suspensions tonight. Marquette freshman Juan Anderson has been suspended three games for accepting a free ticket to a Brewers playoff game. For Mount St. Mary's out of Maryland, the situation is more serious. Their leading scorer, Lamar Trice, along with Christian Kreina, have been suspended indefinitely for violating team rules. That leaves them with just seven scholarship players for this big challenge, Jim McElvain against Marquette. And a whole bunch of newcomers as well. They have two guys that are sitting out as transfers this year, but four freshmen on that team. And it's a bit of a transition year for them. When you look at their schedule and some of the teams they're playing, they've got some quality non-conference opponents. Marquette being one, Minnesota, at Minnesota, at Maryland, at Penn State. So they're going to play some tough opponents, and, and that's what I think they're trying to do this year. Coach Robert Burke, a longtime John Thompson, the third assistant coach at both Princeton and Georgetown, really trying to toughen up these young guys, get them some good experiences early in their career that they can build on as their careers move forward at Mount St. Mary's. Marquette is 79 and 15 all time in season openers. They have won their last 10 in a row. And let's check out the starting lineups for tonight. Chad Holly inserted into the starting lineup with big shoes to fill with Lamar Trice out. He's just a freshman from New York as he gets the call for Mount St. Mary's. And Jim, as you look at Buzz Williams starting a lineup, there had been some mystery about a couple of the spots, but Vander Blue and Junior Kadugan will be starting tonight. Well, there's been some, some degree of mystery, but you look at those five names up there, and it wouldn't surprise anybody at any point if you said those are going to be the five starters on opening night. They've all proven themselves in this program over the last season and, and they're all known quantities and you know as coach Williams is a little bit nervous coming into the first game you go with the known quantities. Robert Burke second season at Mount St. Mary's as Jim mentioned longtime assistant under John Thompson the third they were 11 and 21 last year fourth season for Buzz Williams at Marquette he's taken the Golden Eagles to the NCAA tournament each year and last season took them into the sweet 16. Buzz Williams and the players the other day, Jim mentioning that they feel through practice they are far ahead of where they were at this time last year as far as the development of this squad. Here we go, the 2011-2012 season for the Marquette Golden Eagles. And the Golden Eagles control the tip. Our officials tonight, Earl Walton leading the way. Marquette goes inside to Chris O'Toole. As a block out of bounds off O'Toole, so the Mountaineers get it. Well, he got the ball in good deep post position. Mount St. Mary's collapsed immediately, tried to pump fake, and the defense just kept coming down to help. And good defensive stretch there by Mount St. Mary's, knocked that ball out of bounds and get the possession. Marquette opens man to man. Kadugan guarding Chad Holly. Tightly. And a five second count. Junior Kadugan has been challenged to be better defensively. That's a good start. And that's that's going to be a, a, a point of contention for Mount St. Mary's tonight. Lamar Trice not in the game. He's one of the guys they rely on to show poise and leadership out on the floor offensively. Darius Johnson Odom on some preseason award watches and preseason all Big East first team. Jay Crowder hoists up a three. And O'Toole falling down, can't control it. Neither team probably executing the way their coaches would like them to, but that's somewhat to be expected the first few minutes of the season. Julian Northfleet, a lot of dribbling, and Vander Blue went for the steal. And they're going to call the foul. Great anticipation by Vander Blue. One pass away, anticipating that cross court pass up in the passing lane, ready to pick it off. Foul was called on Holly, so the steal was effective for Vander Blue, who started 12 games last season, the sophomore out of Madison Memorial. 
Rocky Collins, Marquette assistant, saying the other day that because he's a, a state product, there were a lot of eyes and attention and scrutiny on Vander last year. Maybe he didn't handle it all that well, but they're expecting a better season this year. O'Toole on the offensive glass puts it up and in. And Marquette's going to look to Chris O'Toole to do a whole lot more of that this season. Every year he's been at Marquette, you can see his confidence rising and his ability and his strength inside. He knows he's in there to rebound and block shots. Crowder tried to draw the charge. And that's a shot alteration there. Yes. On St. Mary's, gets its first two on the slam from Danny Thompson. Danny Thompson finished strong that time. 